Good day fellow investors, given my new setup in the new office I have, many asked me what are the books here and if I would present them. So here we are, what are my favorite investing books and why I think those will really help you when it comes to investing. I'll go through, I think I have 10, 12 of them, give you the main points of those books and you will see which one you can start this summer with reading so that you get a better overview of what it goes on when investing. The best things about investing books is that you get the lifetime knowledge of people summarized into 100, 200, 300 pages, which is something really, really incredible and a knowledge that when you buy it for 10, 20 bucks or you get it for free as there will be some books here that are for free, then it's really insane. It's the best return on investment you can ever have. Let's start. The first book, I don't have it here because if you look at Amazon, it costs between $800 and $2,000. It's Margin of Safety from Seth Klarman. But let me tell you a secret. If you type Margin of Safety, Seth Klarman, PDF in Google, there might be something coming out so you might want to download, but I'm not sure, I don't know, so you didn't hear that from me. In any case, Margin of Safety, it's an excellent book because Seth Klarman puts a 2000 year perspective on what's going on in the markets. He goes back to reading ancient Rome for his studies and then he puts all that into a value perspective and he perfectly explains what the market does and what a value investor should do. Focusing on risk, intrinsic value, business investing, don't lose money and comparing to what the market does. So it's perfect for value investors. There is a lot of things that were hot in the 80s, not anymore, but you will see the same patterns going on. So let's go to my shelf. We have here uh, The Snowball from Warren Buffett. This is such an important book because it really depicts in detail how difficult it is to be an investor that focuses on business. Business is not easy and in this book it's really Warren Buffett exposed and how he did business and how he solved those situations, how he bought when things were not easy but here and there he saw how things can improve and that's how he made the best investments. Of course we cannot avoid Peter Lynch beating the street, one up on Wall Street, how can you invest in your circle of competence and then of course in detail how he did it, how he achieved 28% per year over 13 years, what kind of stocks to buy, what kind of stocks you should buy for your risk reward appetite. It's really an incredible book and I recommend it. I'll hope to do a summary probably in the winter when there will be snowy here in the mountains and not much things to do outside. So I really recommend Peter Lynch, don't forget of course, Buffett. Then we have the intelligent investor. I have been doing, uh, have done the complete playlist of videos that summarize it because the last part was written in 1972. So it is a little bit outdated, but nevertheless, if you want real, the real value investing uh, content that is everlasting, something have to change perhaps then as Buffett is a little bit went away from this thanks to Munger. So you have to see how that fits you. But again, a good, good read. Then we come to the dangerous things and that's The Black Swan by Nicola, Nicholas Nassim Taleb. You have to see how to read this because this is about probabilities. This is about black swan events that happen once in Many think once in a century, but you see here that they happen much more often and even once in a decade, once in two decades. And if you read it from an investing perspective, you can see, okay, how can I take advantage of those once in a decade, twice, once in a two decade period situations, be it going counter the crowd, be it doing something crazy with some real extremistan investments or something like that. And then you see how this, let's say, crazy investing fits you. It's always focused on risk, low risk, extremely high reward. So it's a good book to develop your mindset. 
Another great book to develop mindset is Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. Uh, it's a bit complex because it's a lot of psych psychological uh, insights, uh, tests, experiments. He won the Nobel Prize. Maybe in the future, in the next decade, I'll write a book Thinking Fast and Slow for investors that should be easier to read and more applicable. But if you love a hard read, then this is it. Jim Rogers wrote a book on hot commodities. I picked it up recently and I read it. It is 200 pages, but there are, I think, 10 to 15 pages that are really, really good to know how commodities are traded, how to uh, understand the cycles when it comes to commodities. 180 pages are a little bit outdated, but you can see, okay, how it is to invest in commodities, how to accept the risks of investing in commodities. And when you accept the risks of investing in commodities, you can really be a great commodities investor. What else do we, this is a very good book, not so uh, famous, probably because it's a UK author, but it gives you the summaries on Graham, Templeton, Buffett, Lynch, Bolton, Munger, Soros, and Fisher. So you have all their life work summarized into 10 to 20, 30 pages. And then you can see, okay, which one of those investors better fits me. So you can follow Glenn Arnold, the great investors, really, really highly recommended. Then I have here Tony Robbins, not because of Tony Robbins, but because of what he did. He summarized and he interviewed the money masters, those who master the game of money. And you can really find interviews with Carl Icahn, for example, and really he got the best Ray Dalio. He bought, got the best out of them, Bogle, and you can see Buff, Buffett and you can see, okay, what are they thinking? Which is the best strategy for me? Uh, then Tony Robbins also explains strategies for beginners where you can't go really wrong. So another book to recommend, not, from, not for Tony Robbins' investments acumen, but for what he, whom he interviewed and whom he put in. Then we have another book these books are all on mindset mostly. And then I decided, okay, let me write a book that is based on these book, books, based on value investing, modern value investing with 25 tools to invest with a margin of safety based on Seth Klarman, based on w Warren Buffett, Peter Lynch, and then even Ray Dalio. And then what are the tools that you can use to apply this mindset? So there is also about mindset, it's in four parts. And there is also an analysis of Daimler. I made it when the stock price was 77 euro. I think now it's around 50. And I said that the fair value for a value investor is 40. So sooner or later, stock prices hit the value investing analysis valuation. What else do we have? A very good read, a nice read to develop the mindset of the real long-term investor, of the real businessman, the Dando investor by Monish Pabrai. Really, really good book. I would recommend it. It's a very, very nice, easy read. And you can see how to, what's the right mindset you have so that you can't go wrong when it comes to investing. Another book by N Nicholas Nassim Taleb, Skin in the Game. Be careful when dealing with people that don't have skin in the game. Whatever I talk here, it's my money in the game. So I have skin in the game and a lot of my money compared to my personal wealth. So when dealing with whatever, especially in financial markets, there are people that don't have any skin in the, in the game. If, I don't know, there is a recession, they will still get their pension. They get their millions immediately and don't have to lose anything. Another book that's not that famous is Market Wizards uh, interviews with top traders. And I'm saying this, read this book because maybe you're a trader, maybe you're not a value investor. And if you're a trader, if you become the 1% trader, like if you become the 1% investor, you will do well with trading or investing. So see how this trading patterns, how the best traders did it, how they make money over five years. Nicholas Nassim Taleb was also a trader, not an investor. So see how they made their money, how they bet, 
what are the probabilistic outcomes on those trades, on those bets. And it will give you an even better uh, view of how to invest over the long term, if you're an investor or how to trade for yourself. We have Antifragile and then a great book here, Poor Charlie's Almanac. And it's simply so full of business acumen that it is incredible. For example, how to get more clients if you have a business. Focus on the, bus on the work on your desk. And then I was thinking about it. Yes, it's not about Facebook ads, it's not about this, it's not about that. It's simply about focusing on the work on your te desk, doing the best work you can do. And by doing the best work you can do, the clients will be happy, they will come back for more, they will give you referrals, and over the long term, you will be build an amazing business. So this book is full of such things when it comes to investing, business, life, law, whatever, so history, so really, really enjoyable, and I would really recommend it. So these are my top books, you see them here, where you can see them on the videos, uh, others are there, I bought them, I don't know, I have uh, Greenblatt, the book that beats the market, I wasn't really, I read it, it's mechanical and I am afraid of anything that's mechanical because it doesn't use common sense, so this is something I, you can read it of course, every book is to read, you will always learn something, but not for me, for example. So read as many books as you can, find the ones that are the best for you, and I'm sure you will get enormous value. So I wish you a great reading summer. Subscribe to this channel so that you get summaries on stocks, on stock market news, on various books, uh, various how-to tools, value investing school. We have the new playlist here. So we are here to educate, to improve your investing skills so that you can lower your risk and increase your returns. Looking forward to your comments. If there are any books you loved from the series or you would recommend, please write them in the comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.